So here I am in my dirty little studio. Um, I haven't been able to get up to Hudson to see the Place as Memory show. Uh, so I thought it'd be nice to talk about a couple of the pieces that I have in the show. I have two or three pieces from a series called Vestigia Landscape, which is a series that I completed last year. Um, it was based on a road trip that I took in Ireland a couple of years ago from Dublin to Kerry and back again. Um, in the past, I would have always taken rural roads and rural routes, uh, but this time I took the highways and I was just so struck by the landscape uh, alongside the streams of cars. Um, that particular day too, I remember the, the light was spectacular. Uh, it was very dramatic. Um, but it was more than that. It was, it, was, um, it was looking at a landscape that was changing, um, remembering back to the way it was. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on with that series. <laughs> um, so I have two or three pieces from that. Um, <clears throat> I also have two that I completed during lockdown. Um, the first one, Beneath the Dripping Trees, was completed in March, uh, right at the beginning. The second piece I completed um, in the summer. So it was done when things had eased up a little and I was able to make it up to Hudson. Uh, and it was just so nice to be able to get out and walk around and be in the landscape again. Uh, so it's called The Fullness of the Wind. Um, and then I also have some small miniature pieces uh, from a new series called Reverie, which uh, was inspired by Turner's sketchbooks, which I have always found so fascinating. Um, the beautiful, poetic, luminous colours. Um, so I started experimenting with Two Rivers paper, which is this beautiful, thick watercolour paper. Um, it's a wonderful surface to work on. And I started using light watercolour washes as a backdrop to my drawings. And I sometimes worry that uh, the black and white can be a bit boring. So I suppose I was trying to add a little bit of uh, warmth to see how it would be and if you have not gotten to see the show yet it's open until January 31st and um, if you have been in already thank you